This is Tina and welcome to another episode of Joyful Entrepreneurs. And here we are with my special guest, Nalini from Chalice of Wisdom. Hi, Nalini. Hi, Tina. Yay. I would love for you to share with us. Recently read your article on your blog, Let's Talk. Well, you have a whole series, Let's Talk, and there's all these different mm -hmm. awesome topics. The one that I'd love you to talk about today is the Let's Talk Inadequacy. So speaking about you know joyful entrepreneuring, um, inadequacy doesn't fit in with joyful entrepreneuring. So whatever's in the way <laughs> needs to be cleared, right? Or it's just given a shift in perspective. So yeah. I'd love you to just talk about that a bit. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, that's that's a couple of posts ago, I think. But yeah, it's um, it's really up for everyone, and especially those who, who are sort of in business for themselves. And the truth is, when we are in business for ourselves, we are really in business for spirit. We're in business for the light. And some people don't want to look at it that way. They think that's all woo-woo. That's okay. You don't have to look at it that way. You're in business for yourself. It's all right. But, <laughs> but what is happening on the planet right now is because we are in a time, the energies and just the framework that we're in is so fluid and completely unscripted. There's a loss of what's familiar. And so it will bring up all the familial, you know, the family patterns that got set into our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, our minds, levels of, of our mental bodies when we were children that made us feel less than or like a freak or a geek or a nerd or, you know, some weirdo that where we didn't fit in. And for a lot of us who are basically, we, we work as the light with the light. We work as joyful entrepreneurs doing what we love in the world, however you want to express that, you know. Um, everything, that, everything that has to do with the way human spiritual, spirituality is right now is going to change. Just don't tell anyone. Um, but... <laughs> you know, but that has to come from this place of confidence in whatever you call it that comes through you, your essence, your core, um, you know, your sense of self, whatever, whatever you, you call that. I call it the light and having given everything over to the light, but that's me. And the inadequacy comes from not knowing how to do that because there are no scripts, there are no frameworks, there are no scaffolds. They're all being obliterated. This last solstice did that. And we can feel it, whether we know it or whether we can see it. I mean, I can, but it doesn't matter whether you can or not. What matters is being able to feel that trust that even when, even when you don't feel it, this is really the key, the moments when you think, okay, I've just been splattered to the winds. I don't know what to do. Everything is a bad idea. I mean, you know, the mind has those days. You know, nothing's going to come in. I have all these people signed up for a program and where's the money coming in? Or no one's going to sponsor me this week, whatever it is, whatever your current, you know, wine is. Um, taking that and saying instead, which sounds facile, it sounds stupid, thank you that the way that this needs to flow is being supported because when something isn't being supported right now it's because it's not quite the right thing it might either be not the right thing for you or the timing might be off even just a little it could just take a little adjustment like maybe tomorrow or maybe next week or maybe it was last week and so your your internal gps has to do a you know u-turn at your earliest yeah. convenience <laughs> whatever it is has to happen there has to be an adjustment that 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 your essence that spirit needs to make through you in order to make something happen I mean, sometimes when people put these big detailed vision boards together, um, it takes years and years, decades sometimes, and then all of a sudden they'll be standing in the middle of it, and you hear people, Tony Robbins, you know, the Tut guys, other people say this, oh, and then it manifested, and I realized it took the universe that long because I was so specific. Hmm. So that's a little lesson too, is, well, what if you're being a little too specific about how something needs to show up? Or what if it's still what you desired? Desire's not bad. It's, it's what we do here. It's like something that wants to show up this way. It's wanting this. And so letting, instead of you saying, well, how do I give it what it wants? And your readers, your listeners, your clients, you don't do that. You let the source that comes through you do that. And you provide the vehicle. You provide the, 
the product or the that the thing that it comes through the mouthpiece that it comes through the inadequacy comes in when we our minds and our egos say i don't know how to do that i don't know what to do i don't know how to do this or, you know i'm not good enough i'm unworthy all those old saws that were part of the martyrdom cycle because you know to get really good at that was to get the medals yeah. this is this these energies that we're surfing now they're they're new they're different those things won't work so that's actually where the inadequacy comes from that everyone is feeling all the bodies are feeling is I, I feel overwhelmed the other way it feels is overwhelmed so what do we do when we feel overwhelmed we put our finger in the dike we stop the flow it's just, it's a reflex reaction. I don't want to drown. I don't want to be carried away by this or, you know, nibbled to death by ducks or overwhelmed by the tsunami. So I'm going to stop it. So if you feel a stop in your flow, you realize that some part of your energy has done that mm -hmm. because you felt overwhelmed and inadequate to handle it. Yeah. You know, like you and I were talking yeah. earlier. I said, well, okay, what would be the issue if, you were hit by a tsunami of wealth. Mm -hmm. You know, how would that feel? And you can feel the part of you that just says, okay, because it would flow out and I would do good things with it and, you know, all this other stuff would manifest everything. And there's that other little part that's saying, ee! you know, <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with that. And then there's this prevailing belief system on this world that, you know, money is the root of all evil. This is ridiculous. Money is a symbol for flow. Nothing more, nothing less. And largely, other than the weird paper and metal stuff we carry around to represent, you know, some kind of value, it's numbers in a computer. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't real. I mean, what happened with the banks already happened, and they just all decided to pretend it didn't. So, you know, you might, your, your numbers in the computer are probably safe. <laughs> yeah. But this is where we feel inadequate because we, we feel like we cannot – Whatever that we is we're identified with, we can't handle a certain situation. So think of that. That's also a perceived threat. So what happens with a perceived threat? We have fear. And then the defensiveness comes up. So this, this, the mechanics of inadequacy is we go into some kind of resistance or defensiveness. We put up shields. We put up a block to the flow that wants to come through us. And then we wonder why things got difficult or things got inconvenient. But instead of going into, oh, well, I have to figure this out, I have to do this, I have to do that, whatever that you is, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. So it's <laughs> surrendering that you, that version of you, that identity, that whatever, mm -hmm. you surrender that into, okay, there's a larger portion of this, of me, even if you don't believe in a higher power or you don't want to or it's not convenient today, whatever, you can say... <laughs> You can say, look, there's, there's another part of me, of my essence, that does know how to do this because there is. Mm -hmm. Your source essence knows what to do in every moment, in every situation, knows how to handle it. And we don't ever surrender into anything but that. That's the actual truth. We surrender into source how it flows through us. And that's the cure. You know, the solution to the inadequacy is to say, you know what? You're right. I don't know how to do this. My mind doesn't know how to handle this. My ego doesn't know how to handle this. I might not have the skills per perceptually. So someone else needs to help with this. And in the infamous 12 step program, you know, they say, I, you have to be able to say, I just need help right now. And it works. If you, if you're asking it to come from that essence, whatever you, however you hold that, however you believe it, whatever guides or masters or ever work with you, you know, they're all valid. It's just let that come through and say, okay. And then instead of saying, I want help. If you keep screaming, I want help and you don't listen and accept it, you're throwing a tantrum. Yes. <laughs> This is what an adult tantrum looks like. And I, I use the adult word loosely here. You know, this is what it looks like. It's like, no, you're just, I, 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 I want help, I want help, I want help. And Source is like, shut it, would you? And you accept what's, you know, here it is, right? In your face. You know, the divine, the angels, the guides, whatever, however it is that you can accept it. It's all spirit. It's all one. And letting that come through and saying, thank you. Instead, replace that you know, with thank you that I am supported. I just can't see or feel it right now for some reason. I don't even need to know what that is. 
I am feeling inadequacy. I'm not feeling up to being able to handle this. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Now, some of us hide, some of us fight, some of us freeze, and the adrenals kick in. We have those responses. You can also say to your body, no, you don't need to do that. I mean, it, adrenal depletion is rampant on the planet right now because everybody's trying to, you know, manage this stuff and handle it. And they're poor bodies. It's like, no, the body doesn't need to do that. So let the, let the flow come through. Relax into it. Even if, especially in the moment when you really think that's a bad idea. Like, if I do that, I'll drown. Well, if you're in water and you're trying to breathe, maybe not the best idea. But if you're, you know, if you're, if it's just a situation, it's like, well, wait a minute. There is a support here. There is. And just choosing to insist on that, to demand it even, just say, no, there is support here. I'm choosing that. And then wait to see how it shows up. And it won't be two weeks from now or after you're dead. It will be in that moment as you can open and say, all right, I'm willing to drop this lens of perception and look through one that will work. But that's really the tech of it. Yeah, you know, that's so yeah, and it's it's so up right now. The inadequacy is just everyone, and it's really just the perceived threat of the unknown. And it doesn't have to be that way. It's yeah. like let, let go into it, see where it takes you. You know, really juicy, awesome, yeah. Because I've definitely had my fair share of this coming up and going into like in one moment feeling completely expanded and mm -hmm. oh, so inspired and wow, yeah. and then the next moment. <laughs> yeah. Going into and you the want to run and hide you contract into a little yeah. ball yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, but i love what you were saying there realizing that yeah at truth we know we know that our essence knows it does you know, so the part of really, you yeah. that is authentic your authenticity your your divine essence your spirit essence whatever you call that it knows how to handle, not what to do is one of those expressions that's tricky, but it's like it knows how to handle every situation if you'll let it. Yeah. Sometimes you walk away, run. You know, sometimes it's just a little bit of dodgeball. You know, Ooh, get out of the way. Don't, don't need to, you know, don't take catch anything anyone throws at you, right? You know, just sometimes it's a little bit just of this. It knows. Yeah. You know, and we're just trained we are schooled literally to believe that our minds have to handle the situation our minds cannot handle this mm -hmm. and that's where that comes from awesome love it well i love all the articles in the let's talk series and they're so good <laughs> yeah, so keep on writing them and um, for anyone who has not read them yet then hop on over to jealousofwisdom.com and check out the blog and you'll be able to find the articles there really good and i'm sure that whatever anyone's going to be drawn to is going to be just the right thing to read at just the right time as it always is so yeah awesome thanks nalini you're welcome and i look forward to more juicy conversations and until then many many joyful blessings Bye.